Hi all, welcome back to another episode of the Necromunda project. And in today, episode 6, we're going to be making pipelines and conduits for Necromunda. But before we get started, I would quickly like to shout out to all of you watching and all of you subscribing. A massive thank you to you all. And without you guys, yeah, the support, it really means a lot. So it helps me motivate it. It helps me keep on going. So keep on watching and I will keep on crafting for you all. All right, guys. So let's get to the crafting table and let's kick out some pipelines. All right, let's do this. All right, my friends, let's begin. So I'm using two PVC pipes that are 30 centimeters in length and on both of them, I'm gonna mark out the halfway point, 15 centimeters. And I'm gonna use my hobby saw to cut them in half, giving me four roughly equal pieces of 15 centimeters. Or you can just keep them as two straight uh, 30 centimeter pipes. It's your preference, of course. Here I'm using a milk cap that I'm gonna use as a connector between the pipelines. Just hot glue that in place. By the way, you see those support pillars standing there? Yeah, ignore them. <laughs> All right, it's, uh, yeah, it's something I, I was testing, but I forgot to put them away. So we're gonna make them bigger because those don't fit. Now, uh, as you can see me do here, hot glue the two pieces of the pipe together to the milk cap. Hold it in place till, uh, the, till the glue sits. And it will look like this. <laughs> now, these are for the correct support pillars, seven centimeters in height and six and a half centimeters in length. You're gonna need two of them. Here I'm pressing in the pipes to get uh, the diameter and it will also be the place where I want my pipes to rest upon. I'm gonna redraw that a little bit, so giving me a better uh, view of where to cut it with my exacto. See, and they fit nicely. All right, now let's embellish these supports a little bit. Use it as a template, by the way, for the second piece. You're gonna need two of them. Or if you want more, you can make more, depending on how long you want your pipes to be. Now I'm gonna use PVA glue to glue on these wooden wash clips, half wooden wash clips and wooden blocks for detailing uh, my support beams. Do make sure when you uh, glue them on both sides, as what I'm doing, is that they align, as you can see here, on both of them. And adding some detailing in the middle, just those wooden blocks. I really love those things. Also, make sure that they, that they align. Now let's make some bases. I made two of them, uh, nine centimeters in length and uh, <coughs> excuse me, six and a half in width. hot glue the support pillars to the bases. Glue them roughly at the center for both of them. Now I'm gonna put hot glue on the inner parts of uh, the support pillars. Just do one side first so you can put in one pipe. Do the same for the second pipe. Now I'm going to use this particular box as a conduit because it's, well, I like the shape and it matches the rest that I've made and I had it. But if you just have a square box or you want to make something, feel free, make whatever you want doesn't even have to be this size or this height just be creative a simple square box would do just fine here I marked out where I want uh, my pipes to enter the conduit and I'm gonna trace that out and then cut them out with my exacto and here I'm using another piece of PVC pipe and pushing into the holes that I've made to make the pipes fit more uh, snugly as you see now I'm gonna put hot glue in the holes and then press in the pipes. 
like so. And now I have my pipeline with my conduit. And seeing as, th um, as this is a big piece, I'm using another one of those foldable boxes that I, ha I have plenty of those. And I'm using uh, one piece that I snapped off as in the previous episode and I'm using it for uh, another walkway. And as you can see, it will start to look like this a little bit. Just clear of uh, the wisps of the hot glue. All right, now I'm gonna use some drywall mesh tape to create a, a grating floor on top of the conduit for uh, miniatures to stand on. If you have a small box or a very small box, you don't have to do it. I just because my box was this size, I figured might as well use it as another platform for minis to stand on. And this drywall mesh tape is a really quick and easy way to create uh, graded flooring metal flooring, or whatever you call it in English. Like this. Now, the bottom of uh, this box, I'm cutting out uh, the center piece, leaving one centimeter on each side, as you see here. And I'm gonna use that to glue on top with some hot glue on top of uh, my conduit. Clear away the wisps of the hot glue. Just hot glue that in place. Or white glue. Both work. I'm gonna glue on some wash clips on uh, the four sides here. Some more details. This is something I had from another project that I abandoned and I am snapped it off and I'm using it for this. Just putting some hot glue on those, uh, well, this connector, real connector. It only costs about one euro in uh, the Yama, so yeah. It's cheap and it looks cool. Here I have another uh, lid from a spray can bottle that I'm hot gluing to the center. At this point, at this stage, uh, just add whatever you want to the piece. I mean, I'm using stuff that I have, but if you don't have these exact things and you have something else that you prefer or like, well, feel free, it's your project. Be creative and, as I always say, test yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I also glued in some paper drinking straws, some metal studs on the top. I even used some floral wire for a hanging cable on the side. So yeah, just glue on whatever suits your fancy. <laughs> now let's create a door for the conduit. I would like the conduit to have a door, so I'm going to create a door. Now my door is uh, five centimeters in height and three and a half centimeters in width as you see here and I'm gonna cut that out and then I'm gonna cut out once the door is cut uh, two corners to make it yeah one centimeter corners that it looks like this just to give it a little bit of an interesting shape gluing on some more uh, wooden blocks more detailing even gluing on some metal studs and my door will look like this and I'm simply white gluing this or hot gluing it, whatever you prefer, as a door. Voila. More detailing. <laughs> More wooden blocks. And I'm really going to have to stop myself. Now here I'm going to use some chicken wire to create a railing. So you, first I'm measuring it. And then I'm going to use my clippers to uh, cut it to size. So it stands about two centimeters in height and I'm gonna sandwich that between two pieces of cardstock that are one centimeter in height you can see me clipping off it's clipping off the some pieces and fiddling with it clipping off more pieces and yeah that's about two centimeters in height now It fits nicely. Now this is the cardstock. I'm cutting it to roughly one centimeter strips. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm rebending it a little bit just to hot glue it in place using my silicon mat so it won't stick. Now I'm a little short, but that's okay. We can fix that with more cardstock. Hot gluing the sandwich part of it. And it will look like this. 
now this part is important take your time with this just go corner by corner if you're gonna force it it won't work just go take one piece and let the hot glue cure then put some hot glue on the box as you see me do here or on the cardstock whatever and hold that in place as well and slowly work your way work your way around the box until you have your railing in place because if you rush this it won't work and if you have some excess as I do here just clip it off I also made a ladder in the same way from the same chicken wire that I'm gonna hot glue to the base into the platform uh, the walkway sorry as I'm doing here and some more detailing now prime the piece in black once you're happy with the details as for painting yeah I'm using the same color scheme I have always used in previous episodes but again if you prefer something else do what makes you happy <laughs> and once it's prime black I'm gonna cover everything with a brown paint everywhere every nook and cranny cover it all with brown it's okay that some black shines through extra depth in shadow just cover the entire thing as you see me do here now stipple on silver paint again same color as I in the same way as I've done in all my previous episodes by the way if you haven't seen those I will leave a link in the description down below and you can go and check them out covering it all with metal now for the pipes instead of blue I'm going for some off-white it looks rather white but believe me it's an off-white color and I'm gonna stipple that on but heavy stippling so that it covers uh, most of it but that little bit of brown still shines through and I'm only gonna give it one coat it doesn't have to be perfectly covered again it is the underhive so nothing is perfect down there <laughs> Try to avoid uh, as many places as where you've put the middle in the brown. But if you if you can't, it doesn't matter. You can cover it with some more brown in the end. Here I'm using uh, the blue for all the parts that I want blue. Again, same color. And if you want to be creative, paint the paint the pipelines red or whatever you want or the drinking straws paint them the cables whatever choose all the colors you want now for the rust I'm stippling on some more brown here some grime and rust random spots I'm not even waiting till the paint is fully dried I'm just smearing it on And then I'm gonna go over those brown spots that I've just covered, that I'm just doing now, with some orange paint to enhance the rust effect. As you've seen me do in all the previous episodes as well. And if you haven't watched them, I advise you to go and watch them. We make some cool stuff there. <laughs> Even if I do say so myself. Here you can see me smearing on and stippling on the orange paint again. Continuing to create more rust and grime. Now I'm gonna use some white glue to glue on the hazard stripes as I've done in other episodes as well. Do wherever you see fit. I've glued some on top of the conduit here and on the pipelines of course and on the, the railing of the walkway. And I simply used uh, some white glue and then stipple on some brown paint mixed with the white glue so that it seals it in as you see here. Now let's have a look at the finished piece we've just made together, guys. All right, let's check this out. 
Here we have the ladder from the previous episode. And the walls and the, the columns and the tiles. And here you can see how it all matches up together. Some more images of the piece. And something I whipped together in less than an hour with toilet rolls, painting and all. <laughs> it looks terrible, but actually when you put it on the board, it blends in very well. So, all right, so thank you all for watching, guys, and for all the support, and I'll see you on the next episode, all right? Bye for now. See ya.